fish and watch the world go by. Rope Walks is about a new cultural offer to the city and to tourists. This won't load itself, you know, get in the line. It's a brand new, really exciting way to understand the heritage of Plymouth's Barbican. If you're on the shore or on a ship, your belly never going to be full. So what we're trying to do is to take a walking tour and the notion of outdoor street storytelling, street theatre, weirdness, and put those two things together so that we create something unique that's built out of the city of Plymouth. The life of the city is navigation. The inhabitants export lead and tin in greater quantities than anything else to Barbados, to the New World, to every part of Europe. They act as carriers. We started with a kind of a conventional walking tour guide to the area. What happened in this building at this time? How does this area connect to this bit of the Barbican's history? And then from that have started to pull out the human stories that occur to us. The market begins in the early hours as the taller men and inshore fishermen unload their catches. We gathered a group of actors, people who wanted to investigate the material with us. And then it was a question of going round and looking at the information that was available to us and unearthing stories and things we felt were particularly interesting. We've got work to be done, you know. One thing I found very interesting was using the pictures mm. and the photographs based on the Barbican. So you had all, all the fishermen and the fisherwomen down on the yeah. docks uh, with huge great barrels and baskets full of fish. And from that, we also got the idea of this fisherwoman character. Yes, yes. Sort of structure off and things like that. I liked the idea of lots of layers where she can... I'm working with the actors and I'm trying to sort of take inspiration from them and how they feel about this one woman who is many people and how I can use that and turn it into one costume which is quite a challenge but it's also exciting. I've taken inspiration from the name uh, first and foremost the rope walks and try to incorporate the twisting tales of the Barbican's past into my designs. One of the brilliant things about actually doing the work in the Barbican theatre on the Barbican and about the Barbican is if you forget where something is, you can go out for five minutes, find out where it is, have a look, explore different directions where things would work, go back in again and try again. But for me, I want it to be visually stunning so that when, if you're not booked on the, on the walking tour and you see this thing over there in the distance and go, what is that? Um, you know, I want some of that, I want to see what that's about. Um, and that's the theme of the whole thing, really. Once you've been on the walking tour, we want people to be interested in following up stuff that's really whetted their appetite and then going and finding out more information. And they'll be left with something that will help them do that.